hi i'm ashley ham i'm a licensed professional counselor and i wanted to shoot a quick video to talk about handling discomfort or anxiety around wearing a mask um i know i've had a little bit of discomfort um, and anxiety when i wear my mask and um it's getting better the more i use my mask it's kind of becoming more normal and commonplace but definitely the first few times i went out with a mask i was I was not liking it. I was feeling a little bit of fear that um, I wasn't getting enough oxygen and, and just the discomfort was kind of ramping up my tension. And um, so I would like to share just a few things that might help with that sort of anxiety and fear response that might come from wearing a mask. Um, so one thing that's helpful is just recognizing that when that happens, when we feel sort of anxious about wearing a mask, our brain is getting a signal that this environment is not safe. And that's why it's kind of making your heart race. It's kind of preparing you to handle the danger. And so one thing we can do is we can kind of help our brain get the signal that actually this is okay. This is safe. And um, so there are a couple of things we can do. Um, one thing that I really find helpful is shifting my focus from my own internal discomfort to my purpose and my why of why I'm, why I'm wearing a mask. Um, and I like to focus on the whys that are involved in kindness and care. So if we're just focused on the why of I'm scared, I might get the virus, um, that may serve to just fuel that anxiety and to kind of help us go about our day. Um, you know, it might be helpful to connect a little bit more to a couple other reasons. For example, um, connecting to wearing a mask as an act of kindness and an act of care. Uh, one thing I like to do is really create sort of an avatar in my head of, of this image of someone who um, really benefits uh, from everyone wearing a mask or most people wearing a mask. Um, so like I imagine, you know, an older person who's has to go out, they don't know, have anybody who can shop for them. They have to be out and about in the world and they're more vulnerable than me. So if they were to get sick, they wouldn't fare as well as me. So I connect with them. I say, I'm wearing this mask as an act of kindness and I'm willing to experience some discomfort in order to practice this act of kindness. And it kind of shifts my perspective a little bit. It kind of makes it worthwhile to experience this discomfort and say like, it's okay, I can do this. Um, so that's one thing that can help, maybe creating a picture or a mantra, like I'm doing this as an act of kindness to kind of help shift that focus from that internal, um, fueling the anxiety and the fear to an external, I'm doing this out of kindness. Um, and then um, another tip is uh, practicing deep, slow, soothing breaths. So a rule of thumb is maybe to shoot for about four seconds in, holding the breath brief briefly, and then exhaling for about four seconds out. But you can practice and figure out what length of time feels really good for you. The goal is just to make your breath a little bit longer than usual. Um, so you'll breathe in slowly, hold it, and then breathe out slowly. You might even um, kind of hold your belly and feel the breath kind of expanding your belly too, so you really know that you're kind of fully engaging that, that long breath. Um, so that's another thing that kind of tells our body that we're safe. Uh, we don't need to send off these alarm signals. Um, and the key here is to take a supportive stance. I'm supporting my body and knowing that I'm safe versus a fix it stance. When we take a fix it stance, like I must calm down, that can almost ramp up our anxiety. Um, it can kind of have a paradoxical effect. So we don't need to be searching and saying, am I calm yet? Am I calm yet? We're just supporting ourselves and helping ourselves versus um, trying to achieve a particular state of calm. Um, and then the last thing that might help 
is just asking yourself, is there anything that would make this more supportive for me? Is there anything that would help me through this? Um, one thing I personally discovered is that my mask was just making me feel really hot and sweaty. Um, and uh, so what I did is uh, when I went to the grocery, I packed a um, nice uh, to go cup of ice water. And I had that to look forward to when I got out of the grocery. And it was just so nice to have that sip of cool ice water at the end of my trip. And it was just a nice little thing I did for myself that made it not seem like such a punishing thing to, um, go out to the grocery. So it was just kind of an act of kindness for myself. I started with kindness towards others. It's also helpful to see what I can do to practice kindness to myself. So those are some quick tips. Um, they're not meant to be a be all end all. It would be perfectly natural if you still struggled with this. Um, if you do, uh, one thing I'd recommend is maybe working with a therapist. Um, you know, we're all struggling to different degrees in this pandemic and um, a little support can probably go a long way. Um, so I personally, I'm a counselor who sees clients in Texas. Um, so if you're interested in working with me and you're in Texas, uh, you can book a phone call to learn more at my website, hamcounseling.com. So thank you so much for listening.